Now, it turns out all of us make mistakes, and one of my big mistakes is how I have been saving models for deep reinforcement learning agents. It turns out there is a much better way that allows you to save not only the state of the agent's weights and biases, but also the state of the optimizer in the PyTorch framework at any particular moment. And you can also save things like Epsilon for your agent, as well as any other parameter you need to resume training at a later time. In this video, I'm going to show you the better way to do it and absolve myself of my sins. Now, here you can see the code we've been working with the past several videos. This comes from a gist on my GitHub, so take a look at the links in the description if you don't have this code yet. We're going to be modifying this to include the better functionality for model saving. So, uh, this is the agent file. Let's just quit out of here and take a look at the main file. What I want to do, just so that we know we are successful, is I want to um, I want to say uh, print out the agent epsilon, something like this, like that. Uh, say two points of decimal space. Let me zoom out ever so slightly. There we go. Then we can shorten this out just to average score and episode we can shorten to EP and we'll know exactly what we are looking at. And then of course we'll need policy dot epsilon. Then we can right quit out of that. Uh, the next thing we need to do is take a look at our agent file and we have to handle the actual saving in here. So what we're going to be doing is saving a uh, a dictionary to a checkpoint file and then using those keys to access the relevant parameters for the variables we want say our agent epsilon our optimizer state the state of our q eval and q next networks so let's add in a function here oops say def save models doesn't take any parameters as input and returns a type of none so what we want to do is use t.save to save a dictionary and we're going to define our keys as epsilon. We're going to save the uh, policy epsilon to begin with, and then say uh, qeval state dictionary self .qeval state dict. And of course, we need the qnext network as well. Our optimizer. And then we need to close our dictionary and specify a path. So we're going to close the dictionary and say we want to save it to checkpoints slash models dot checkpoint, something like that, and then close our parentheses. Okay, so. Um, then we need our load models functions, def load models. Again, that doesn't take any inputs and it has a return type of none. Um, let me scroll down a little bit for you guys here. Then we'll say, uh, we want to say checkpoint equals t.load uh, checkpoints slash models dot chkpt. Then we have self.qeval load state dictionary checkpoint sub q eval sorry in quotes q eval state dictionary and of course so on and so forth load state dictionary checkpoint q next state dictionary and then our optimizer And that's optimizer state dictionary. And then um, our policy uh, epsilon as well equals checkpoint sub epsilon. Okay. So did I make any? I don't have a comma here. Yeah, that is an obvious error. Okay. Any others? Nope. Let's write quit. And then we'll take a look at our main file again. And down here at the end of every episode, let's just save our model. We'll say um, down here. 
agent.save models and then we can write quit and we can run it hopefully I didn't make any mistakes oh of course I did I did I didn't do a make dir checkpoints that is critical uh, it doesn't have the capability of making directories on your local machine thankfully uh, okay so that is going to run for a little bit I'm gonna let it go until it gets a reasonable score and then I'm gonna stop it and I'm going to modify the main file again to load the model and you'll be able to see that it resumes training from where it left off including the epsilon so let's let this run for a minute Okay, so that has run for a minute, and we're getting scores in the mid to high 100 range with an epsilon of 0 0.22. Let's take a look at our main and say right here, agent.load models. And then just for the sake of simplicity, let's freeze the model at this point and resume training and make sure everything lines up with what we would expect. And so our Epsilon starts out again at 0.2, right? Because it's printing at the end of the episode after it's decremented Epsilon a whole bunch of times. And the scores are again in the high 100. So it is indeed resumed training precisely where it left off. And what is different here from where I was doing before is two things. One, I'm saving the Epsilon uh, rather than having to change it manually. And two, I'm actually saving the state of the optimizer. It wasn't something I was doing before. And that is, of course, a mistake, which I'm now correcting. Um, you can find all of this in the documentation for PyTorch uh, on saving and loading models. Uh, doing a Google search for that will yield the proper results. And interestingly, you can also use this for uh, saving partial training. I have to look into that for perhaps a little bit of transfer learning. And that isn't useful when you want to go from something like the cart pole to like the lunar lander because they have a different vector input space. However, when you are dealing with, say, the Atari library, it does open up the possibility of some type of transfer learning and in particular a student has been bugging me about a question uh, from my udemy courses on intrinsic curiosity about perhaps having some sort of transfer learning between environments in the intrinsic curiosity module and i think that's a great question i'm going to address that in the coming days so if you purchase that course on udemy or you're a subscriber to my neural net academy be on the lookout for those improvements in the coming week or so I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below because the algorithm doesn't like to surface my stuff. Maybe I'm just not very good at this, but leaving a comment would help greatly. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video.